As supply chain issues continue to soar across the country, alcohol is not immune to the problem. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz spoke with local store owners on the impact they are seeing. The New Year toast may be harder to do with alcohol shortages hitting local stores. We have like shortage of everything, you name it. Like starts from liquor, wine, beer. The backup in the port of Long Beach is making imports from other countries harder to make it to their final destination. Due to the fact that we have such a global collection of wines and we, we feature roughly half of our wines are from all over the world. So we are definitely impacted because all of those are sitting off the port in Long Beach. So some of them, they're not bringing that at all, some like brands. So they very much like get it down. Some of them like, we have to wait like a month sometimes, sometimes two months to bin and some stuff we've not seen it for a year now. Now, according to the data provider IRI Worldwide, 11% of alcoholic beverages have been sold out in U.S. stores since November 28th of this year. Aaron, owner of Slow Wine and Beer Company, says he saw the problem coming and stocked up as much as he could for the holiday season. We're able to, to get by with style, but at the same time, there's still, you know, several wines that um, I would love to have that that won't make it until till next year. But the problem isn't just in receiving the product. Other factors are contributing to the issue. There's a shortage in glass. There's a shortage in cork. There's a shortage in, in uh, all the materials necessary for bottling. Demand on alcohol continues to stay the same and it's costing business owners much more money to keep up. I want to see at least like $1 across the board, $2 for each bottle went up. Business owners aren't giving up and say this is an opportunity to try new things if you can't find what you're looking for. This is a chance to drink outside the box. Think outside the box. Try something different. In San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. And better prepare right before the holidays. Experts predict the supply chain may start to have a normal flow by the end of 2022.